Mohammed Heder and his colleagues are angry and desperate. We were working in the Station 3 of the West Qurnawan oil field. Three days after we signed our one-year contract, they terminated our services. It happened in March, after the Iraqi government asked international oil companies to cut their budgets by 30 percent because of plummeting oil prices. Energy companies responded by cutting salaries and laying off workers. And then came the pandemic. I started searching for work on social media. I contacted several companies, shops or anything I could think of, but in vain. Even working as a taxi driver is impossible now. Anyone who goes out to drive gets fined and arrested because of the coronavirus curfews. The situation is particularly dire in southern Iraq, where Heather lives and the oil industry dominates. The laid-off workers have lodged official complaints against their employers. Local officials say such complaints have skyrocketed in recent weeks and the fault lies with the companies. We need solutions. The salary might be affected. That's acceptable. But such an arbitrary termination of employment is not, and they're aware of the Iraqi law. It's left many of the formerly well-paid oil workers dependent on social services and international charities and facing an uncertain future. Shoaib Hassan, TRT World.